come again to sage Synergetic age, a new world religion Episode 121 S-E-C-C-46 February 4th, 2022 Destroying by beliefs Reference for this episode today is provided with link shown on my transcript at sagesynergeticage.com. Remember to read the entire transcript for your research in this education experiment. Synergetics Eligion Experiential Experimental Education Complex. S-E. Triple E-C. According to Synergetics Explorations in the Geometry of Thinking by R. Buckminster Fuller, the ability of the human imagination to formulate conceptually is the greatest of all the faculties. The inherent mental or physical power, aptitude or talent that is unique to every individual. Since all local systems are conceptual, then conceptualization, conceptualizing, conceptioning, and conceptuality are essential words for the individual's economic initiatives. Logically, the term conceptual as a word tool is closer related to relevant observations and articulations in the universal communications process than the word believe. Synergetics 501 Definition Conceptuality Yet, as we tune into the Internet, ordinarily we do not hear or read the words conceptioning, conceptual, conceptualizing, but believe Believing and belief is used as a supposedly clarifying synonym with freedom to think an independent thought. An independent thought is not manipulated by technologies, robotic artificial intelligence, nor any algorithm devised to control human behavior and predict outcomes, preferred outcomes. The bots online can manipulate human actions, according to the Megan Kelly show yesterday. Her guest, Todd Rose, author of Collective Illusions, informed her audience how to avoid such online dangers, although he did not clarify our humanity's vulnerability as less than consciously astute observers during the Internet's facilitating the communications process as an evolution species whose individual metaphysical intellect is a function of universe. Humans can conceive of events without ever having to use the words believe, believing, beliefs. Merriam-Webster's Collegiate Dictionary, 11th edition, defines the word believe as follows. 1. To accept as true, genuine or real. 2. To accept the word as evidence. Obviously, words are different from the system that is conceptual, independent of size, and which is closer related to the minimum thinkable set's vectorial geometry. Words, as tools, can describe the basic event experience as the energy event. The energy event is the conceptual topological system when combining the positive and negative open close action reaction result in tripartites, illustrated for our evolution interest in synergetics figure 108.01, figure 511.10, and figure 935.23. It constitutes structure. Beliefs per se do not constitute structure. Therefore, beliefs and believing cannot be evidenced proofs of the articulated energy events generalized structural arrangements. Generalized structural environmental arrangements will hold true regardless of the size. 
primarily because the conceptuality is independent of size. As intellects, conceptuality operates independent of size, as it is size alone that can come to zero, not the conceptuality. So, if all conceptuality is systemic, it must be essential for our individual economic initiative to know what the minimum system is comprised of and is constituted without exception. Energy in generalized principles is what the minimum system is constituted and which is angularly defined. Angularly defined systemic events coincide with systemic thoughts, metaphysical generalized conceptioning. We might never know precisely when in human histories that the metaphysical generalized evolution conceptual environment was officially authoritatively supplanted by beliefs. Belief is a state of habit or mind in which trust or confidence is placed in some person or thing. It is what the manipulation of disseminated information in any propaganda and contradictory intention determines to misdirect potential consciousness evolution. The idea that these seemingly innocuous words believe, believing, belief can redirect our individual consciousness evolution turns out to be a rude awakening. Awareness of this misleading term in and of itself, however, does not solve the perniciously complicated problems. To suggest obsoleting the word believe may seem offensive, considering the vast network of historical content throughout the world's manifest forms and adaptations to the word as supposedly divinely guiding protection. Fortunately, metaphysical intellect can generalize concepts. This means that the polyhedron's triangulated sides are conceptual topological characteristics of lines, areas, corners, which are interchangeable perspective and conceptual terms, wherewith lines, vectors, edges and triangular areas, faces, windows, and corners, vertexes, points, can describe the basic unit of measure as mensuration concerns volume. The entire explanation with respect to the truth during the referential writing process as observations of the reenacting articulations need never include the word belief and believing, the words belief and believing. As a self-disciplined intention, my metaphysical intellect's consciously deliberate self-determination has already obsoleted any use of this nomenclature. Over decades of writing with synergetics as systemic thoughts referential resource, unless to explain it, believing does not factor into my comprehension of the synergetics models and synergetics sections, which is quite extensively considerately respecting anticipatory reality. Oddly, though, as strange as it may sound, the word belie from the 12th century means to give a false impression of, to present an appearance not in agreement with, to show, in parentheses, something to be false or wrong, to run counter, to contradict, disguise. And that's from Webster's, Merriam-Webster's Collegiate Dictionary, 11th edition. Apparently, humans of a mind... Our evolution species can be misguided, misled, and misdirected by the manipulative power of a seemingly innocuous word, believe. And we would like to know precisely when the F was added to the end of the word, belie, which spells belief. As we consciously put pen to paper, placing a dot, a point, on the surface of the page, it can represent the period at the end of a sentence. Point extends into a line that has a beginning and an end, and we can curve or wave a linear, making it into words. It is finite, therefore it cannot be infinite. 
Directed at an angle, the point extended into a line vertically ascends toward a slanted direction, then bending the line on a slant, descending angularly and again vertically, it shows a zigzag pattern. We can see it illustrated in the figures listed above with active links for immediate access. It is a conceptual system, the minimum structural system that can be conceptualized independent of the tetrahedron's size. The point is also knowable as a tetrahedron of negligible base to altitude dimensioning. This seems of no relevant use, but actually awareness of it tends to satisfy yet another perspective. The perspective concerns what we do not yet know as much about as we ought to know. We do not yet know much about how we can measure all information experiences. Synergetics 200.06 explains how we may measure our experience by employing geometry and to topology to coordinate all information. This cannot be accomplished by believing, but we can recognize information as both metaphysical and physical. Until such accurately communicated elementary definition which requires a conceptuality of local systems, our individual systemic thought, and the nature to which our imaginations formulating conceptuality does not consciously operate. Technically and literally, we have no correlating generalized patterning integrity with which to consciously structure anticipatory reality. How then can we be participating as a cogently contributing individual whose knowledgeably competent articulating mind is actively involved with the evolution of a true democracy? If it is True that one molecule of any element race showed to one space is a cosmic democracy? Then how can we individually conceptualize a true democracy as a self-regenerating, eternal, energetic, synergetic, patterning, integrity of omnirational universe? I ask, because a true democracy cannot be contradicted by consciously coordinated systemic thought, but it can be destroyed by beliefs. Thank you.